In my lab, we study polymers. And so what's a polymer? A uh, polymer is um, a macromolecule. It's a really big, long molecule. I like to think about it as if it were a string of spaghetti. So if you have one carbon, you have methane. You have a second carbon that gives you ethane. Third carbon is propane and so on. If you string all these carbon molecules together, you eventually get something that looks like polyethylene, which is present everywhere in our lives. So I study how polymers, like the one I um, mentioned, can be used in coatings and in energy storage. So I'm really interested in how polymers behave and respond in these different environments, like for corrosion, for a cor corrosive environment, how can a polymer coat a metal and protect it from the corrosive environment? And what happens to the polymer as it degrades over time? Or in a battery, how can a polymer enhance? How can a polymer enhance the properties of a battery? Make maybe make it last longer, maybe make the battery flexible um, or charge faster. My long-term dream would be to make a battery entirely out of polymers. That means the battery could be stretchy or flexible, and this could power biomedical devices or flexible electronics. But it's a really big dream because uh, polymers need to perform as good as the current batteries we have. And uh, it's really hard to adjust all these interfaces inside a all polymer battery. But I think it could be done. I think it could be done. I try to impress in my students a strong work, eth work ethic. That means showing up, doing your work, and being proud of it. And everything they do contributes to the greater good in society, no matter how small. And um, I'm proud in their work, and I'm proud of them when they do well. So when I teach, I try to be as approachable as possible. It can be challenging when you have a class of 80 or 90 students. But I try to stay engaged with the students, sometimes showing uh, funny videos about the material. I teach thermodynamics, which can be a little dry, so I try to connect that to real-world situations like pumps and compressors and bicycle tires. Um, and I also try to be as available to students as I can, making individual appointments with them if they need to talk to me. I see each student as a human being, and I'm very invested in their personal growth. So the advice I would give to um, high school students or freshmen just starting out, it's really simple. Show up. Um, a great portion of your success is simply showing up. Showing up, listening, coming to class, coming to office hours. And then the next step in that is once you're there, once you're in the classroom, uh, be curious. If you have a question, raise your hand. Engage with the instructor, engage with your teacher. Um, your curiosity is what's going to keep you engaged in the material, and later on in life, it'll make you successful. Now, what do I love most about Texas A&M? So that's a tough question because I'm actually a longhorn, but what I was really impressed about when um, I first started here seven, seven and a half years ago is that Texas A&M students and faculty have an amazing sense of community. It's like a family. We're all in this together. And that translates to this sense of self-sacrifice where students and faculty are willing to help each other through thick or thin. I think it really embodies the Aggie spirit.